Hi guys, I was supposed to be having the weekend off, but I saw this, and so I couldn't help myself. I'm a huge Starship, uh, Starship Troopers fan, and there's an RTS out now for Starship. Well, it's not out yet, it comes out on the 31st of March next year, but there's now a demo of the first, well, there's three levels in the demo. I don't know where they fit into the actual campaign, but there's three levels. Uh, they feel very early kind of levels, and you can go and download this, I nearly said Ganon, but you'll not know what that means. You can go and download this now from Steam, and play it yourself so you don't even need to listen to what I've got to say about it. But if you do want to listen, this is this is the crack, guys. This is the crack. It's a real-time strategy game, and it looks pretty nice. I, I quite like the graphics, and obviously it's based on Starship Troopers. Now, the first thing that I noticed when playing the game is that it feels like it's all in slow motion. Because when you watch the movie, a Star I'm not talking about the book here. Um, when you watch the movie of Starship Troopers, the, it's it's breakneck speed the, the the speed that they attack um it's just mental you also have a lot more men as well so it, it's hard you, you can't kind of have it both ways in a game because to have shit tons and shit tons of, of enemies attacking you would need to do shit tons of damage and have shit tons of troops and this doesn't want this game is not about that if it was, you'd end up with just another They Are Billions kind of clone, which I would love to see, by the way, as a Starship Troopers game. But what this is doing is this is more tactical, way more tactical than just grouping up a, a shit ton of men and just mowing down a shit ton of bugs. What this game has is micromanagey tactics, um, but don't let that put you off because it is still a fun, fun little demo. The tactics revolve around line of sight and terrain elevation which I really like in RTS games. So for example, if you have a squad in front of another squad, that back squad will not be able to attack any bugs that are attacking the first squad head on, simply because they would mow down their own troops. So you would have to manually move them to a, a flanking position or to the side so that they can get a clear shot. However, if they're on an elevated platform behind them, they can shoot over the heads of the squad in front. And it also feels like the higher you are, the more range you get, which I love. And the snipers have huge range, which is good. For I mean, that sounds so stupid to say that a sniper has huge range because that's what a sniper does. But in so many games, you'll see that you have a sniper unit that can only fire a little bit further than a machine gunner. Yeah, we've, we've all kind of seen that. But in this, the snipers can really shoot a lot further than machine gunners. So that's a, a welcome addition. The the missions in this, I can only talk about the missions in the demo. I have no idea what the missions are going to be like in the in the main game when it comes out. But the missions in the demo, um, the first two are just kind of like tutorials, I guess. Uh, the third one's a really humdinger of a mission where you have to kind of go around the map, secure bug nests. Uh, destroy them, liberate mines so your miners can go down into the mines and keep mining the ore. And essentially, you have a mini map in the bottom left, and you have to tactically work out the best way to take down nests to stop yourself getting flanked. It works a bit like Infested Planet. If you've played Infested Planet, it's that kind of thing. You have to decide which way you're going to tactically go about the map, which I really do enjoy in this game. You have different types of units in this game. You have yeah, uh, riflemen, and they all level up with experience if you can keep them alive. For example, the riflemen get an ability when they become elite where they can use shotguns. Uh, you also have engineers that can deploy machine guns. You have snipers, which I've just mentioned. But you also have, guys, uh, these little radio operators. Now, what the radio operators do, they build a little kind of reinforcement pad anywhere on the map, anywhere you like. And so when you take damage as a squad, you lose um, soldiers. You can see how many soldiers in, in each squad. And as it takes damage, soldiers will die. And if all the soldiers die in that squad, that squad's gone. But you can replenish it anytime you like with an infinite amount of men um, that will keep replacing the, the, the fallen squad mates. The problem is you need to get them to a place where reinforcements can land, and that's what this radio operator does, because normally you have to be at a base to do it, but once you've unlocked the radio operator, he can make a little reinforcement base anywhere you like on the map. Now, it might seem like easy mode, and it, it is. It does make it... I wouldn't say easy because I, I did find the game quite quite challenging, I thought. I thought it was, um, I mean, I completed it, um, you know, it didn't take much tactical awareness, uh, just basic stuff. But um, you can easily, if you're not careful, 
find yourself outflanked by the enemy and when they get into your face they will decimate your squad very very quickly and i had some really frantic moments just on normal uh, just trying to reinforce my squads in time before they got eaten up now it is good fun to play but it does have some problems um notably things that are missing that should be in this um let's talk about the sounds first the sounds that they're not meaty i would like to see some bigger booming gun noises and explosions that just feel a bit lacking um, there's no real voiceovers in the game uh, other than the narrate well they, there are voiceovers but it's not like when you click on a unit there's no voices on that i would i would kind of like to see some of that just basic stuff not you know whole lectures every time you move in a unit that can get annoying in some games but generally the sound is just a little bit subpar for me but the real big problems that i've found are with the actual movement of your troops for example it's very 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 micromanage the way you have to select abilities and, and all of this stuff i would much rather you have formations um, if you could put these guys into a formation and move as a formation it would be so much better uh, the attack moves doesn't even work that great in this uh, which is a bit of a shame and my biggest gripe easily my biggest gripe is that you cannot fire while moving now when you watch starship troopers you'll see tons of action shots of a squad walking backwards firing it's kind of like one of the main moves uh, in in the actual movie because obviously you, you, as the bugs taking damage and losing limbs it's slowed right down but it's still coming at you so you are walking back as you just wrecking it with your machine gun fire and that command would be fantastic in this game but there's so many times i've had to just pull my troops back but when you do that they kind of turn face and run which sucks you want them to fall back retreating just a little that should be definitely added to the game um if, even if they don't allow you to move forward firing which i think you should be able to but maybe not as obviously not as good as you would be if you're standing still goes without saying you should get a penalty for moving and firing but you should still be able to do it to suppress the enemy a little bit um so things like that just seem to be missing uh, from the game but this is a demo and the game isn't out for five more months so th there is time to implement uh, a few more things i'd love co-op in this this game my goodness it's not penciled in for co-op but oh man it would just be amazing with with co-op i'd like to see skirmishes as well aside from the campaign that you're going to get uh, when the game actually releases some skirmish modes would be great skirmish co-op some better movement keys uh, binds and uh, walking when you're firing would just make this a really really good game as it is now it's still enjoyable it's there on steam you can download it for free i don't know how long it's going to be there but you get three missions and uh, the full game's going to come out uh, in five months 23 pound up i believe it is so it's not like a, a big expensive game uh, that is kind of worrying what are you going to get for your 23 pound is it going to be a little tiny uh, campaign or not we'll just have to wait and see i'll be giving it a full review when it comes out in march next year